Welcome back to the Crow's Nest, your home for Sea of Thieves. I'm Captain Jay, and today we're taking a deeper look at the latest Forsaken Shores trailer. I know some of you saw the trailer for this yesterday when it accidentally leaked, and you were looking for a breakdown, but a policy here at TCN since day one has always been to avoid leaks or data mined info of any sort. I'll cover the news when it officially releases, but out of respect to the devs and their work, no leaks of any sort here at TCN. It's always been the case since the start of TCN two years ago, and it'll continue to be that way. With that said, let's jump right in. We're starting off our trailer with our first look at Robots in-game with a brand new NPC in the style of Merrick from THD, singing an ominous song about the fate of some pirates. This pirate has some new gear on display, complete with a lava theme, to match the Devil's War. His eerie song takes us to flashbacks of the encounter, where we see a galleon anchored down as ash falls from the sky. We take our first look at the ill-fated crew. All of these pirates showcase brand new molten gear with a very flashy, very cool visual effect. Something worth noting, each of the pirates shown throughout the entire trailer all have face paint. Something that's been teased for a while now in previous screens and artwork. Perhaps the face paints will finally be coming to Sea of Thieves with this update. As we see more of our pirates, take note of some of the awesome new cosmetics coming to the game. We get a better look at one of the volcanoes in the Devil's Roar ready to erupt as the island becomes increasingly violent. In the Devil's Roar, we'll find geysers, lava, earthquakes, active volcanoes, and violent storms. Now take a look at this awesome shot. A better look at the new weapons and items coming with the update as ash and embers rain down all around our heroine. The pirates try to make their retreat back to the galleon where we have a look at some of the new ship customization to come with Forsaken Shores. Now check out that new figurehead, that thing is sick. The pirates try to escape the volcano's eruption but it's too late as the world around them comes crashing down. We get one last look at our narrator and the rowboat as he slowly rows away but not before we see one of the new items washed up ashore as our crabby friends from all of the previous trailers makes a cameo appearance. We've seen him so often, it's only fair he gets a name at this point. From this moment forward, he shall be called Leonardo da Pinci. Looking back at it, holy crap this trailer was intense. From the reveal of new items to possible upcoming teases, a deeper look at the devil's roar and what to expect, it was the perfect blend of storytelling and tease. Forsaken Shores will drop on September 19th, just around the corner. Out of everything shown here in this trailer, what was your favorite part? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for checking out the video everyone. If you enjoyed it and want more Sea of Thieves, click the like button, subscribe to the Crow's Nest, and be sure to hit that bell icon for the latest in Sea of Thieves. As always, I'm Captain J, and until next time, fair winds and following sea.